Uh, Peter here once again, and I'm going to do some updates. So, last time I left off with the S500 W140, we were going to try and paint the trunk and see how it came out. And this is how it came out. It has not been wet sanded. It has not been polished. You can see it's even rough. We've had some rain. I've been driving it. Um, so it came out really, really good, and it's not perfect, but this is the first section that I've tried to paint, and this is done with spray paint. So my goal is now to get this wet sand and see how that polishes up. Um, I've got the hood all prepped. As you can see, it's I haven't cleaned it down. I've been driving around a little bit. But that's all prepped. I'm going to basically clean all that down, get it primed. We're going to go with a prime, wet sand, and then paint on the hood, see if we get even a better result out of that. Ultimate goal is to get the whole car painted with spray paint, show you guys the final product, the way it comes out, and then maybe go down and get it um, clear coated professionally or order in a 2K clear coat in a can, see if we can do that. Now here's a new thing. This is the new vehicle. Uh, I just picked up a 2005 Lincoln Navigator and I actually love it. Um, picked this up for only three grand and it had some, what the uh, place thought was some mechanical issues. Come to find out it literally was just that they had changed the battery. Um, well, the battery went bad. I ended up buying a brand new battery for it. And the battery went bad a couple times on them, so it was giving them some funky, uh, it was driving funky, it was hesitating on takeoff, and I think they were putting lower grade fuel in it, which was affecting it. So I basically did some um, some fuel additive, uh, brought it down to my guys at Velocity, who did this for free, which is awesome. They cleared all the codes, and that... After that, it's been running great. This thing has the electric lift gate, which is really cool. This is our family car. So we have three kids and three dogs. So we it was a necessity. The S500 uh, W220 got sold on eBay, unfortunately, for way less than I thought I was going to get. Um, I decided to ride it out, see what it would go for. And it only went for $1,650. So somebody got this for a ridiculously amazing deal. It's going to somebody... Uh, out in Bradenton, which is like an hour away from here. So he's gonna be picking that up tonight. So that'll be gone. That's gonna give me space um, to move in the W140 and start totally renovating that. So that's gonna be my next thing is really just working on this car, uh, probably daily driving the Navigator and this as they get repaired. So I've got a bunch of parts coming in. Just wanted to give you guys an update. And once again, uh, I'm Peter. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like the Navigator. Uh, how you feel about the spray paint project on the W140 and what else you'd like to see done to this W140 and what you think about the Lincoln Navigator, uh, your thoughts on this. Um, I do have some things I'm going to do to this, nothing crazy. I'm going to be doing some major interior cleaning on this. Uh, this is a pretty cool one. It's got the uh, DVD, uh, drop down DVD. It's got the navigation. Um, seats, no tears in them. So, I mean, it's got the electric fold down seats in the back. We had our dogs in here, that's why everything's down. But you can see here, it's got the uh, drop down DVD for the kids. So, we're excited about this. It's got 156,000 miles, so nothing insane. And the car is driving amazing right now, so we're very excited about that. I'm going to update, uh, probably do some separate videos on some of the things that uh, I found that were very simple to fix on this. And one of the things that I'm gonna be working on is the door locks don't work on that side. And I believe um, I pulled the, the, the button apart and it was uh, corroded, but I think it's actually uh, coming from uh, interior where the, the cables come together. I think that there's corrosion there because the, mirror, the uh, electric mirrors don't work every time. The door locks don't work at all. And um, there was another button on there that's not functioning as well. And so that's what we're going to work on. Other than that, this one's sold. And I'm going to let you guys know when we bring another new one in. Thanks again. Comment below. Share, like. Uh, help build this uh, channel up because I'm going to be buying lots and lots of cars. Sharing with you guys how I get them running, daily driving them. Which is my favorite. You know, which is the most affordable, luxury uh, car that's used to drive and how to fix them. Uh, we'll be doing tie rods on this one here, getting an alignment next.
Thanks again. Have a good one, guys.